we do? It's Zapdos TCG here and thanks again for watching our TCG battle video. Today we're going to be playing with the Dueblade Tool Drop deck. And if you don't know Tool Drop, it actually deals more damage depending on all the tool cards in play. Uh, both uh, yours and your opponents so that can uh, dish out to a lot of damage. So uh, we of course have a lot of tool cards to work with and uh, we can dish out that attack for a double cards energy. Now you might say, oh boy, uh, we only have four double cards energies in our deck. How are we are going to attack? Well, we also have a counter gain if we're falling behind. We can attack for a single energy. There's the Tapu Koko with the Dance of Asians, which makes sure that we can attach lightning energies. That way we can just uh, attach another lightning energy and you can attack. So there's a lot of options you can go with this deck. How do we get our, our tool cards? We have Adventure Back searching our deck for two tool cards. And of course, there's a lot of tool cards to choose, choose from. We have Choice Band, dishing out more damage. You could also maybe fit in uh, uh, Shrine of Punishment in this deck, but I don't think it's necessary since you get the one hit KOs regardless. We have Metal Frying Pan to have a little bit more uh, defense by our side. We also have uh, the Metal Goggles, which makes sure that uh, yeah, you can take uh, 30 less damage from your opponent's attacks and uh, your opponent's attacks and abilities cannot put damage counters on it. So that is very good against things like the Sijuai. We have a skateboard since it's perfect uh, with this deck. Uh, we also have uh, the Jirachi here with Stellar Wish, the best card in the format of Team Up and that will make sure our consistency works out a lot. We have one Tapu Lele in here. Why is that? Uh, usually you don't want to have like GXs in the deck, but we already have Genesect and GX to have the dual tool. Uh, yeah, you can attach two tool cards to this Genesect with dual, double drive, which is awesome. And uh, that uh, way we can also play another GX like Tapu Lele in order to have our first turn Jasmine. Because Jasmine, if we go second and it's our first turn, we can search our deck for five metal Pokemon. Then we can just set up our bench entirely. Jirachi, uh, Honage, uh, Genesect, all the good stuff. So that's going to be fantastic. Uh, of course, that's engine is going to be crucial here we're gonna be running Lily as well hopefully that will turn out in the first turn and then we also have sprint and sometimes you just desperately need a certain uh, double cars energy while you can just sprint and uh, discard your hand draw four cards so that's going to be the deck that we're gonna be playing uh, with today so hopefully this will turn out all right I uh, I wonder if Tool Drop will do uh, that good in the format. It's kind of like a deck that is like tier 2, maybe tier 3. It's not uh, the best deck in the format. Since of course uh, uh, the Dooblades do not have a lot of HP. But they do dish out a lot of damage. And I wonder if we will be uh, facing some kind of GX deck that we're uh, maybe can one shot with our Dooblade. The only thing we need is a DCE. It's a stage 1. Very easy to get it out. And uh, with things like Jasmine, if we go second, things can turn out very quickly. Okay, we're looking for an opponent. Uh, the thing you should also know about the tool drop deck is that uh, there's only one Genesect GX in the deck. You would want to play two, but I am just a fan of just running one Genesect GX. But if your uh, meta game is full of tag teams, you might consider adding in a second Genesect GX. But this deck also runs a uh, rescue stretcher, so it's kind of cool. Okay, we go second, so hopefully we can get that first turn tap wheel in GX rolling so we can rely on Jasmine. Okay, we start with a Ditto and uh, a Nazbol. So, ooh, our hand does not look very good. Uh, we could start with a Genesect and uh, leave that Ditto in the active position. Ditto will uh, most likely get destroyed here. Okay, we're facing some sort of uh, Darkness deck. Eveltal, discarding special energies. That is definitely not good. There's also Bill's Analysis. There's also a Holographic card in set. Shrine and Cynthia. Okay. Uh, the opponent does not know what we are playing. He's probably gonna smack down the Shrine. And uh, there's an Ultra Ball coming along. This uh, Eveltal is also very cool because it has, has free retreat cost. So uh, maybe this will be a cool, cool game. I don't know if we will be dunked or whatever, but uh, this does not look very good since we only have a Nazbal. The good thing is we have Jirachi, so uh, we can manually retreat with the uh, Lightning Energy, which will make sure we can get out Jirachi. So that's the beauty of Jirachi. There's even a Honage to, to go along with that, so that's fantastic. So let's get this Nazbal rolling. And let's get this Jirachi on its way. The bad thing is that we didn't have an Ultra Ball, otherwise we could have relied on Jasmine, which is of course here in the deck. Okay, four DCEs in the deck, that's all I want to know here. And uh, how many Dooblades? We have one. Okay, we have all of them in the deck. So I'm very satisfied with that. So let's get this Jirachi up and rolling. We have a skateboard to go along with that, so we will just simply retreat. I'm not gonna smack down the Genesect just yet. We will retreat and hopefully, we could have also relied on the skateboard here, but getting a lightning energy in the discard pile is a little bit better since four DCEs are still in the deck. So let's see, supporter, we have the Lily and the Lily will be fantastic here. We can just smack out everything and get ourselves rolling. So let's get the Genesect over here. He might smack down the shrine, which will be kind of like awkward, but it is necessary for our Lily to be successful. Let's get this on board. I don't see an attack coming anytime soon unless he's just getting out of Zora GX with a DCE. Might as well equip the skateboard here. Do we do that? 
Yeah, we're definitely gonna do that. We have more tool cards to go along anyhow. So let's get a Lilium board for a lot of cards. We have another escape board. We have an Ultra Ball. So Tapu Lele is pretty much useless here. So let's get rid of it. And also get rid, do we get rid of the Guzma here? Guzma will get us some cool KOs. Escape board is another tool card. So I think I'm gonna go for a Guzma. I know it's uh, very unfortunate, but let's get out another Honich. That's cool. We need to get all of our Pokemon up and rolling. Ditto can evolve into Substriker, which is awesome. Next turn, we're definitely gonna get a KO here, which is awesome. So we have one tool card, two tool cards. That is 60 damage. With a Cynthia, hopefully we will get more tool cards. So I hope for an adventure back. Let's just uh, leave it like this. Okay, we are asleep. The cool thing is Jirachi can retreat. Uh, but the bad thing is that it can also get one hit KO. There's Weavile. How many abilities? Two. Ah, three abilities. That's 150 damage. So our little Jirachi will not survive here. So this is going to be Evil Admonition. Ooh, very, very terrifying. Okay, but Weavile only has 90 HP, which means we only need three tool cards in order to just destroy this guy. There's another Ultra Ball coming. This shrine will be a kind of a problem since this deck does not run any way to just get rid of that uh, Shrine of Punishment. Maybe we should uh, include some kind of stadium card of our own. Hmm, maybe we can make a, a metal type version of this deck with Mount Cornet. It's also kind of a way to play it. Okay, there's a Pidgey coming along, so the Pidgeotto tech card, love to see that. Okay, Evil Admonition, he gets the KO. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, let's get our Honich on board. And uh, maybe we should have promoted the Ditto here, so we could use Escape Board on that. But it is what it is, so let's evolve into the Tool Drop Machine. Bam! There's going to be this, and Escape Board on that. Nah, let's just use the Rescue Stretcher here. Pokemon from the discard pile back in the hand. Let's get this Jirachi up and rolling. And this Jirachi will, of course, get uh, its escape board that he so loves. And there comes a Cynthia along. So hopefully we will get a tool card. Yeah, we get a tool card. We have the choice band. So that's fantastic. We haven't even have another choice band. Do we give that? Why not? I'm just gonna give it to, yeah, I'm not gonna be needing. Eh, how do we give it to? Might as well. We still again have lots of abilities with the Weavel stuff. Maybe we should have waited with the Jirachi. Maybe. So let's get this choice band to Ditto. Doesn't matter. Okay, here comes the tool drop. Bam! That is going to be 120 damage. Looking good. Actually, 150 since he also has a tool card in play. That was his choice band. Okay, whatever comes, we can one-shot it. So the thing we have to do here is uh, loop our Dublates here. The price raise wise, I don't know. Genesect is in here. Maybe one copy of Ace Roll could also work out or a Max Potion, I don't know. Oh, he also has, of course, the Derail, discarding a special energy, but that way we will... Okay, there comes Energy Evolution. Is this Umbreon? Is this Umbreon? It is Umbreon here with the Retaliate. Dishing out 120 for a single energy so wow that is that is definitely good i like that we will get uh, one shot at here we will of course be able to rely on jirachi once more and then the prize race continues so yeah of course has uh Pejato here probably gonna be setting up a sneasel on the bench if i had to guess so this is going to be an umbreon weavile list i do like the retaliation 120 and then the evil admonition and the discarding of the special energy so a pure one prize attacking darkness deck okay a weavile okay he has a sneasel definitely should target that okay here comes the retaliate 120 so retaliate it's been a while since i heard that attack name uh all the way back from like noble victories with terrakion looks like this deck oh uh, i don't know the shrine will definitely tick in and now uh, we might as well lose to that. Okay, we take 30 less damage, which is awesome. So we might as well get this here. Smack that down. Hopefully we will get uh, another Dublade out. We have a Nazball and a Choice Band. Let's get a Nazball to tin out the deck. We already have enough tool cards as it is. This Nazball will presumably take... Hmm. Might as well take the Coco here. How many energies in this card pile here? Only one. Nah, not gonna be taking the Coco. Another ability. Don't like to see that. Maybe just the Blitzel. We have three of them ready. We 
have to streamline them. So let's get a Blitzel. You never know when it might come in handy. I'm gonna be giving a DCE over here. And let's rock! Come on! We need a Dublade. There is a Dublade. We even have the Sprint, which we might use next turn. So we will retreat. Bam! And that's going to be enough damage. We even have a Choice Band that does not help out a lot. But we might as well 1, 2, 3, 4. If he uses something like a Judge. This guy only has one retreat cost, so I'm just gonna give choice ban to the Blitzel for the memes of it. And here comes the tool drop once again. So we have consecutive uh, tool drops turn after turn, that is good for the deck. The bad thing is that Genesect is in play, and I should not have uh, brought out the Genesect against the Shrine deck. So that is something I know uh, after playing a couple of uh, uh, tool drop matches here, so note to self. Genesect will be our downfall. Hopefully we can get another metal frying pan onto this guy. So it's beefy enough. And we still have... Ah, oh, maybe we should have evolved. Ah, not really. One, two, three abilities. We're definitely gonna be feeling that evil admonition. Nazball, Bradley, gonna see another Sneasel. It's kind of a cool darkness deck. Maybe we should uh, see it... Uh, seeing play at tournaments soon. So I cannot promise you guys that we'll win, but definitely showing, showcasing the might of tool drop it's very easy to have those uh, consecutive KOs here and we have of course a way to get another DCE uh, we just get of course Coco uh, bench it down get an energy and then of course tool drop comes along once again Weevil getting the KO here too much abilities in play for us so we should pay attention to that definitely want to be evolving this guy so he dishes out only 90 okay we have a Jasmine, which can, of course, get, um... Okay, we have a Nazbo, we have a Guzma, we had a Metal Frying Pan. Metal Frying Pan. Hmm. Let's get this Metal Frying Pan up and rolling. All these Schneezel will definitely cause us a lot of trouble. Let's get this over here. Smack this down. Use the Ancient Dance of the Ancients, and we're gonna select two Pokemon, not that it matters too much. We only have one energy for here. Bam. Gonna be attaching another one over here. Manual attach. Mm -hmm. We could use Jasmine to have, of course, our Drew Blade set up. But we need to have another one of those as well. Ah, oh, boy. Otherwise, the Weavile will still continue to KO us. What will we do? Yeah, just play it safe, I guess. Do Blade is coming out. Still, this is out 150. Adventure back. What will we get? Counter gain for next turn. We will be behind in price cards. And then... Eh. I don't know if this is even good. Since I'm going to be relying on sprint regardless. Hmm. There's still a goose mine here. Two DCE. I don't know. I'm not gonna get anything. We might sprint here. Because one, two, three abilities will still stay in play. And he's definitely gonna target the... Ah, oh, man. But he still needs Weavile, so we might as well sprint along so we can get something cool, right? Don't know if this is the right play, but just want to have a consecutive two drops here and there. Nazball, another one of the Honage. So note to self, don't bench Jirachi against Evil Admonition and don't smack down Genesect here. But at least I am showcasing how the deck works, so I'm actually glad I got I am able to do that. 180, so the damage output is actually ridiculous. Against G-Axis, you're definitely gonna have an awesome time. Again, one, spri one prize attack is not so much. And the Genesect is not holding on too much here. One, two, three, four abilities. He, he might as well use Guzma on the Genesect GX while he can. Definitely gonna do that next turn. And the Pidgeotto helps so much with consistency here. I do like that. He gets a card, one to the bottom, one in the hand. How many Weavels did we kill? Two. 
How many Weavals does he run? Oh, okay. Rescue Stretcher will get himself the Weavile. So we have to say goodbye to another Dual Blade. And he's shuffling things back in. Probably already has a Weavile in hand. Okay, another Rescue Stretcher. Okay, now I see how the deck functions. Pajala Weavile. Hmm. Who would have known that this deck is just so powerful? Definitely against Malamar versions. Uh, you're definitely gonna have an awesome time with Evil Admonition. Definitely against Zoroark as well. Yeah, see potential in the deck. Okay, Guzma, goodbye Genesect. It was fun while it lasted. Bam! Oh boy. So we promote Jirachi as always. We have the Rescue Stretcher, put a Pokemon from the discard back in the hand. So you see, against one prize attacking decks, don't get out Genesect or the prize race will definitely not turn out well. Skateboard, counter gain. Not that it matters too much, we are finished here. We have all these abilities, I played too much on abilities here. There's only three abilities in play. Minus the 30 damage. We are still getting KO'd here. Not gonna grab that. Bam. So the consistency is still there, but against uh, Weavile, I think I did not play that out very well. Oh boy. Let's get, yeah, this guy. And tool drop. So this is probably gonna be GG. Definitely gonna be able to one shot this guy. I played too much on abilities. And I got punished. But this deck does show potential here. Weave out Pidgeotto. And Tool Drop, it is not hard to just get a Tool Drop attack every single turn. And the damage output is ridiculous. Okay, here comes the Retaliation. And uh, we're going to be saying well played because Umbreon is very nice. Gives me a lot of inspiration. So, uh, Weave out destroys decks with a lot of abilities. Anyhow, this was Zabdos TCG. Hopefully you enjoyed the match with Dooblade. Uh, just think about if you're playing against a one prize attacking deck, don't get out Genesec GX. That's also the reason why I'm only running one Genesec GX instead of just running two. Uh, I know the game get multiple tool cards attached to it, but uh, in the end, it is always better to, uh, if you see a shrine, don't get out your GXs at all. So anyhow, hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Let me know what you think about the tool drop deck. Will you play this for yourself? I'm very curious to hear your opinion. Anyhow, have a fantastic rest of your day, as I mentioned, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.